Hey guys, um, this is Diane and I'm here today to show you my sewing supplies. I'm gonna go over them right now and talk a little more about them when I show them to you one by one. So yeah, okay. Okay, so we start off with my sewing tray. So these are my scissors. These two are my regular sewing scissors, oh, fabric scissors, and there's two of them, and this one's a special scissors, it's called a pinking scissors, it cuts a zigzag cut at the edge of the fabric, so it won't fray, and I bought it in pink because it's a pinking scissor, so it's easy for me to ask someone else to get my pinking scissors and if they ask me what color is it, it's the pink one. Next one's my rotary cutter. It's a Fiskars, it's 45 millimeters. And my rotary cut uh, mat. Here's my rotary mat. This is the Alpha rotary mat. I was gonna buy the Fiskars, but when I got this one, I find I found it I find it very um found it better than the Fiskars because of this part because if you're gonna cut smaller pieces, it's it has more lines. This one's like half inch boxes and it has extra uh half inch at the sides so this one worked better with my projects okay and my threads all of these are different kinds of threads and my pins and a pin cushion and my other pins with the needles and another pin cushion my thimble this one's my chalk, and this is a chalk sharpener. Just sharp it this way. And this one, this goes on my wrist when I'm sewing, because I don't put them back right away on the pin cushion. So when my pins, I put them on the table, I just use this to magnet them up, and just put them back at the pin cushion afterwards. For this part, I'm going to take them off. Oh, this pink one is where is what I use to sharpen the needles and pins I have. You just do this to sharpen the edges and I put it back. Don't ever put your needles and pins there for a long time because it's going to rust because the sand, uh, sand is inside. Okay, so here, let's take... I'm gonna take all of these out and put them back. Okay, so these are the ones that were on the tray. So I'll go one by one. These are my uh, needle threaders, which I don't use, I uh, don't normally use because I can thread the needle without it. But sometimes if I'm in a hurry and I don't wanna pay that much attention, I use these guys. I have a long one for my serger and I have a short one for threading the sewing machine needle or just the regular needle for hand sewing. This one are my tweezers. This is yeah, my tweezers. I, have, I wasn't using this, so I just added it here. This one is a, I think this is called a tissue forcep. This was included in my first aid kit, but I wasn't using it, and I tried it, do, using it with my serger, and it worked well. So these are the things I use when I thread my serger and my sewing. These ones are my marking pins, and I use this hand in hand with the chalk. So, depending on the color, what I'm, uh, depending on the color I'm working on, I use the white one or the blue one or the chalk, which is orange. This one is called a seam gauge. I use it to measure the seam. So, if you need. Say two inches, just fold the fabric over 
but you can do it this way or the other way and it has a point turner I haven't used the point turner yet I don't know how it's used but uh, this seam gauge I use it the end the tip I use it when I'm turning some fabrics inside out at the points um, I push the points with this one and also I have chopsticks because also with that when I'm turning the fabrics inside out and I can't reach it I use the chopsticks so I added this up too elsewhere extra and my this is my uh, measuring tape I have I actually have four of these measuring tapes I love measuring tapes and these are my brush my seam ripper and my lint brush this one this one I bought and this one was free with my sewing machine so when I got this one and I was using it for unsewing the ones I saw it took too long so I tried to buy this bigger one which worked better because it's big so it's faster and it was awesome it, it, this works awesome this is the singer one uh, it went it, I bought it with my thimble so when I bought my thimble and oh a nice deal there's two of them so I bought them and this one I also used this cleaning my machine but it took a while before I took all of the lint out so I bought another one which is also from singer this is singer I, I bought it from Joann's and this worked well and better faster and cleaner uh, next is my all-purpose machine oil I use it in maintaining my sewing machine and my serger and some of uh, this presser foot I use it here too this is a ruffler foot it needs maintenance so I put some on what the manufacturer says I need to put the oil in these are my needles for my sewing machine uh, these are the Singer needles and this is the Singer needle holder and I always keep this one so to serve as my reference so I know which one's for which because you don't want to break a needle right because I tried that and it wasn't fun so this one is a twin needle I haven't used it yet but uh, there are lots of tutorials at YouTube how to use it and I'm pretty confident in using it I just haven't tried it yet now this one this one's an owl it's used to make holes in leather and thick fabrics I haven't used it yet I bought it because I know I'll be using it in the future so I'll just keeping it this one's a needle recycler from Singer too. There's an address inside. You put your needles here, the ones that are rusted, broken, just put them there because you don't want to put it on like a regular trash because someone might hurt themselves when they pick the trash or someone steps on it and it just feels bad to hurt some someone else because you're not going to use the needles anymore. So I bought this one. So if I have like old needles, I'll put it here and I'll just mail it to them. Now these are my bobbins. They're 25 pieces each. I bought it from eBay. It came from, I'm not sure if it came from Hong Kong or China. And it's pretty cheap. I think I got it for $2.50. It's less than $3. It's 25 pieces of bobbins and it has this case with it. So this one's new. It will be shipped like this you're gonna get this one so it's a lot cheaper than buying it at the store because you're gonna get like how many pieces in the store and how much is it it's expensive and it doesn't have a case with it yet so this is really good because it's organized next one are my presser feet for my sewing machine my sewing machine is Singer. It says uh, these presser feet are for brother sewing machine, but it still works, so I still bought it. Um, I got lots. I got interest in uh, different presser feet when I was uh, watching 
watching the their purposes, like their how the, how it's used uh, in YouTube, and there were lots of tutorials. So I bought one. I was buying one by one, but then it was getting well piling up. It's getting more expensive because I'm buying it one by one. So I bought this one, which is this is 32 pieces of different kinds of presser feet and it comes with this box it's from I think this one's from Taiwan and it's a lot cheaper than buying them one by one because this is $22 overall so you're gonna get all of these braiding fringe hole cording yeah it's joining and all of these presser feet all of them for $22 and this one is my edge joining, the buttonhole, this is a satin stitch for a patch, this one's a zipper foot, and this one's for making buttons, buttonhole, this one's a button and this one's buttonhole. This one's a ruffler foot, which I really love. It makes ruffles, and I also bought this on eBay it came from I'm not sure if it's China or Hong Kong but it was on auction and I bought it for uh, three I think three twenty three dollars and twenty five cents if you're gonna buy this at Joanne's fabric it's gonna cost you um, fourteen ninety nine which is fifteen dollars and even if you get sixty percent of the coupon you're not going to buy it as cheap as this. And also, if you're going to buy this, I think I saw this at SewingMachinesPlus.com, if you're going to buy the genuine one, which you don't, you can't really tell which one's genuine and not. So I, if you're going to buy the genuine one, I think it's going to cost you $70. So it's up to you, whichever you want. I'm a, I like the cheap side. As long as it's working, it's good. Next stop. This one is a uh, fabric glue, a fab it's embellishment fabric glue. I don't know how they call it. Oh, strength adhesive. Um, you can use this. You can if you want to put beads on your uh, project. Use this. They said this works really well, but I haven't tried it yet. I also bought it just in case of emergency. I need it because I know in the future I'll be needing it, but not right now. But it's better to have it in hand rather than buy it when you need it the most. Now this one's my ruler. This is my longest one. It's 6x24. It's Fiskars and I think this, this is called a quilting ruler. Um, I also bought it for on sale or with coupon 60% off. This one's a big ruler and this one's my small ruler. And this one I bought. This is, I think they call it a curve ruler. And there's two, there's, this one's like two in one because there's one curve for the armhole and there's another curve for the hip curve. So I was thinking, why would I buy like two separate ones if there's like two in one? So this one's better, I guess. So I've been using it and it worked well and lesser space needed to keep it so yeah also this one that looks like a telephone is actually a suction it's a double suction cup you just put it there and it's this one and this one and it's gonna hold your ruler really nice nice and tight because if you start cutting without this and you're just going to hold it while you're using the rotary cutter, sometimes your ruler moves. But with this, holding it down and pressing it here and doing the cutting, the fabric and the ruler won't move. So this one's, this one's like the best thing ever. And this is like a must when you're working on bigger projects. So this is like the wonder tool for it because if you cut the fabric really nice, you're not going to have that much problems. Okay, so I think that's it. Those are all of my stuff. So these are all of my stuff and um, you don't need 
all of this just buy the ones that you need and the ones you're going to be using and I didn't buy all of these at once I just bought them on sale or with coupon in eBay and at Joann's I didn't buy them all at once so from uh, through, with time you're gonna get everything you need and I hope this was helpful with your sewing if you're planning to start one and have a good day thank you